All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a great day. So a little over a month ago, I did my Yankees 2021 lineup predictions, uh, and you guys always seem to enjoy those videos. I appreciate all the good feedback that you guys give me on that. And just like last year, I'm going to be doing the, the same thing with the starting rotation. Now, what's different about it is that this isn't really going to be predictions. It's going to be more so a preview because we already know what the starting rotation is going to look like. Now, the order may not be um, like the exact order the Yankees uh, line up with for the first week of the season because there's off days. They're going to have Garrett Cole pitch on five days rest while having other guys be on six days rest. Um, so it's going to be a little bit funky, but these are at least going to be the five starters they're going to be rolling with, um, plus a little bonus at the end. And you guys can probably figure out who that is. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you disagree with me on anything? I don't even know if I should really say that because there's not much to really disagree with on. Anyways, enjoy the video guys and I'll see you at the end. Now, this rotation is filled with a lot of question marks. Nobody can deny that, but Garrett Cole is certainly not one of them. Entering year two of his nine year $324 million deal with the Yankees, Cole is without a doubt the best pitcher in the American League. Last year, you could say he started off slow as he did have a 3.91 ERA through his first eight starts, but he went on to go 3-1 with an ERA of 1 over his final four starts. And we should expect the possibility of a slow start this season too. The year prior in 2019, Cole had an ERA over 4 through his first 12 starts, but would finish the year with a 2.5 on the season. Cole also was one of the few shining lights during the postseason as he was the ace we paid for, giving us three really good starts in October. So yeah, it's pretty easy to sum up Garrett Cole. He's the ace of our staff and we're damn lucky to have him. As the number two starter, I have Corey Kluber. As I mentioned before, the Yankees rotation has a lot of question marks, and this is one of them. However, with Kluber, the potential upside is just so high. From 2014 to 2018 with the Indians, Kluber was 83-45 and 45 with a 2.85 ERA and a K per 9 over 10. He was downright filthy and because of that, has two Cy Youngs to his name. However, since the start of the 2019 season, the now 34-year-old has thrown just 36 innings. So what should we expect from Kluber this year in 2021? It's tough to say, but clearly the Yankees have high hopes for him, as they gave him $11 million. He's looked promising so far this spring, allowing two runs over nine and two-thirds inning of work with nine strikeouts. What's pretty certain though is that if healthy, he'll line up as a number two starter. Now we just gotta hope he pitches like one. Moving on to the number three spot, another question mark, but a question mark I feel a lot more confident in, we have Jameson Tyone. The Yankees acquired Tyone from the Pirates this past January in exchange for four Eh, prospects. Guys, you weren't going to hear too much from. Tyone's a guy that has faced a lot of adversity so far in his career. Since being drafted second overall in between Bryce Harper and Manny Machado in the 2010 draft, Tyone has undergone two Tommy John surgeries, along with a battle with testicular cancer. Now healthy, the 29-year-old will be looking to prove himself as the pitcher scouts have always projected him to be. But it's not like he's been some bum, though. In 2018, when he was able to make 30 starts, he went 14-10 with a 3.2 ERA in 191 innings. For his career, he owns a 3.67 ERA, a 3.93 Sierra, which is much like ERA except it eliminates factors a pitcher can't control, giving a better indication on how good or bad they really were. Like Kluber, Tyone has looked good this spring, allowing just one run in eight and a third innings with a whopping 14 strikeouts, which that is just fantastic to see. He also seems really excited to be a Yankee, which you guys know I appreciate, and you can't find anyone who will say a bad word about the guy. He'll have his buddy Garrett Cole to help guide him through the New York scene as well. In my opinion, the trade for Tyone will pay off big time. And here as the fourth starter, we finally get to a guy after Cole who isn't really a question mark. That's Jordan Montgomery. On the surface, you see Monty's 5-1-1 ERA last year, and you automatically assume he wasn't good, and that's just not that true. First of all, it was his first full season back from Tommy John surgery, and the fact that he made 10 out of 12 possible starts is a W in itself. Second, he had one really bad start against the Rays in August that, although you can't simply ignore it, that start heavily inflated his ERA. But besides those things, his actual numbers are pretty solid. 48 hits in 44 innings isn't great, but he had a K for 9 close to 10 and a walk for 9 of 1.8. Those are really promising numbers. And dig back to that Sierra stat, which once again, you look at just like you would ERA, his was 3.84. And to top it all off, he came up huge in game four of the ALDS against the Rays last year, giving the Yankees four innings of one run ball to extend their season another day. I gotta say, I'm optimistic, very optimistic to be honest, about Monty heading into the new season. Rounding out the rotation, we have the very controversial Domingo Herman. You guys all know the story. Herman fucked up big time, and if you hate the fact that he's on the team, I totally understand. He's a piece of shit for what he did. But the main thing I want you all to be aware of is that, love him or hate him, he is an asset. If the Yankees choose to release him, there would be 29 other teams lining up to sign him. It's a business, and that's just the way that it is. 
Now, as for Domingo Herman, the pitcher, and going forward, this is all we can really discuss in regards to him because, once again, he is on the team. Now, of course, wins don't mean much, but anytime a guy wins 18 games, most of the time it correlates to them having a pretty good season. That was Herman in 2019. For the majority of the year, he was the most reliable pitcher on the staff, and so far in his spring training, he's been borderline unhittable. With Debbie Garcia just recently optioned at AAA, it is all but confirmed Herman will be getting the fifth starter spot. Now the question becomes, will he perform? Comment down below what you think. I'm going to label this 2A, and that's because if you don't know, the Yankees will be getting Luis Severino back sometime this summer after he completes his rehab from Tommy John surgery. At his best, Seve could be an ace of a staff, and we've seen that. From 2017 to 2018, he went 33 and 14 over 63 stars for the Yankees, and had a 3.18 ERA and a K per nine of 10 and a half. When he's on, he is downright filthy. However, I would honestly tone back your expectations for Severino's return this year. He's coming back from Tommy John, and very rarely are guys the same pitcher right away in their first year back. Now, I'm not saying Seve won't return to form come 2022 and beyond. I mean, I'm assuming he'll be the number two to Garrett Cole for years to come. But as for this season, at least in my opinion. Anything we get from him is a bonus, but who knows, maybe he'll shove and all of a sudden we could have the best rotation in baseball heading into October. He's that good. All right, so that's that. The Yankees starter rotation preview for the 2021 season. How are you guys feeling about the rotation this year? Let me know down in the comments section below. Opening day is on Thursday. It's crazy how fast this offseason went by. Um, another year with big expectations. If we don't uh, win the World Series, there are no excuses. It'll be another failure. So, you know, hopefully we change up the theme of the last couple years. Don't want to have another early postseason exit. I think this is the year, and I feel like a lot of you guys you know, feel the same way. There's a special feeling about this Yankees team this year, um, and I haven't been this excited for a baseball season in a long, long time. Um, a lot's gonna be coming up. I may make a little like an update video sooner or later, um, because once MLB 21 comes out, I think I'm gonna be doing like uh, the streams. I'm gonna bring the streams back. It's just a matter of, will that be on YouTube? Or will it be like on Twitch or something? Um, I gotta figure all that out. I have a little bit of time. 21 doesn't come out till what, 420? Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be figuring all that out. Be on the lookout for an update video on that. And yeah, I'm gonna try to get uh, finish my hype video, um, put it out by Wednesday, and maybe a roster, an overall roster prediction video before Thursday as well. Don't get your hopes up on that, um, but it is possible. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, drop a comment um, if you disagree with anything that I said or how you're feeling on the rotation. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Let's go, Yankees. Her body's gone like September.